Welcome to this series of tutorials on using AI tools and we're on number nine now which is going to explain some of the topics of advanced prompt engineering which is a process of submitting requests to an AI tool so that they can be more easily understood and get better results basically. So here's what you'll learn during this tutorial. We'll learn three things. Firstly something called few shot prompting which is a process of giving some examples to an AI tool and letting it infer from the examples how it should reply. We'll then look at recursive criticism and self-refinement, which, while it sounds complicated, is basically the process of getting an AI tool to improve its own replies. And then we'll look at prompt refinement, which is getting an AI tool to improve the questions you ask it. But that's enough of looking at me. I'm going to vanish now, as I, I often tend to do at this point in the tutorial. And let's get started. So what is a few shot prompting? Suppose you want to create some reviews for films in a certain style. You might type in instructions to ChatGPT or any other AI tool on how to proceed, but a far better idea is to use examples, and that's what we've done here. So these are taken from my colleague Andrew's wonderful SQL database of movies. And you can see for each film, and I think there's four of them there, uh, Terminator Dark Fate, The Day After Tomorrow, The Incredibles and Hannibal, there's a review provided in a slightly caustic rise style. So for example, for Hannibal, the review is not as many elephants as I was expecting, which if you've seen the film is vaguely funny, I guess. What we then do is leave a gap for a fifth film's review, so The Greatest Showman. This is called few shot prompting because what it does is provides a few examples, in this case four, and then expects your AI tool to deduce from that the rules you're setting and extrapolate them to give more replies. So let's see if it works. If I run this and notice I haven't given any instructions on how to proceed, it comes up with a review for The Greatest Showman, a dazzling mix of catchy songs and spectacle, but more glitter than substance. So what I can do now is, without any further ado, type in another film like Barbie, and hopefully it will just give me another review in the same style. Let's try this with one more. Isn't quite into this. Let's try Oppenheimer. And again, I get a, another review of that. So, few shot prompting is a way of very concisely giving instructions through your AI tool on how you want it to answer questions. There is also something called one shot prompting. And the way one shot prompting would work is you would only give it a single attempt. So, let's try this one. I put in the film The Matrix, and the review is science fiction or documentary. Either way, the effects are cool. Let's see if I can pick it up from this. So let's try another film and Barbie. And let's try putting the review for this. And if I run that, you can see it comes out with a very suspiciously similar review to the one we had earlier. So it's up to you whether you use one shot or few shot prompting. In general, if you can give a few more examples, you're more likely for your AI tool to correctly deduce the rules of the game you're playing. So to cover the subject of recursive criticism and self-refinement, what I want to do is consider that thorny problem of how to stop people stealing your milk. So there's my milk in the wise owl cupboard, and this is what tends to happen all too often. Someone steals it. Actually, that's not true. We have communal milk, but why spoil it's a good story. So what I could do is ask ChatGPT or any other AI tool to compose a message. So what I'm saying is, you work in an office with a shared kitchen. Each person should buy their own milk, but you notice that yours has been going down even when you're not drinking it, and you want this to stop. Compose a message to go on your office WhatsApp group asking who is taking your milk and asking them to stop. Keep your message short. So let's see if that gives good results. And after a short while, you get your message. Hi, everyone. I've noticed the milk I bought for myself is disappearing even when I'm not using it. If someone's been helping themselves, please stop and get your own. Thanks for understanding. So what I could then do is I could ask it to adjust this. So what I'm saying here is, please review this message, taking into account considerations like clarity, tact, and likely effectiveness, and present your results as a bulleted set of the three biggest improvements the author could make. And as always, use concise language and avoid any filler words. So let's see if that gives an improvement. So it's suggesting I could add a neutral opener. Hi all, hope you're doing well. Clarify the request to make it clear which milk I mean and offer a positive alternative. Uh, encourage courtesy. So what I'm now going to do is say, please 
implement these changes to see what it comes up with and see if this is better. Hi all, hope you're doing well. I've noticed the milk in the shared fridge label with my name has been going down even when I'm not using it. Please use your own ask first instead of taking it. Thanks for understanding. So I'm going to ask a far more general question now. Can you do better than this? So all the time I'm asking you to keep improving it. Here's a slightly more polished version. Hi everyone, I've noticed the milk in the shared fridge with my name in it has been disappearing and I'm not using it. Please only use your own milk or check with me first. Thanks for helping keep things fair. There's a concept in AI called iterate until revert. And what it means is this. You can begin with a version of the prompt or the response you want to get. And then you can use the uh, principles I've outlined in this tutorial to improve on that. You might get a second version, which is clearly and obviously better than the first. And then you might get a third one, which is even better. But AI tools do not know how to say no. They will always help you. And they will always suggest improvements, even when no improvements are actually possible. So it may well be the case that by the time you get to the fourth and the fifth version, you have passed your optimum. And the trick is to recognize the best version you got and revert back to it. So you iterate, keep going, trying to improve what you're doing until you reach the point at which you go beyond the optimum. And then you recognize where this was and you revert back to that. So the previous section of this tutorial looked at how you can improve the answers you get from, from an AI tool. You can also look at how you can improve the question you ask. Supposing you're going for an interview this afternoon, you might reasonably say, I'm going for an interview for an important role this afternoon. Please give me some advice on the best way to introduce myself. But that's not really a very good prompt. It's quite general. And the problem, if I come to refine it, is how do I know what an AI tool will best respond to? Well, who better to ask that question to than the AI tool itself? So what I'm going to do is replace it with this. Act as an expert prompt engineer. So this is a generic prompt which you can use time and time again. And as always, you'll find it in the supporting files on our website for this video. I'm going to give you a messy prompt. Please rewrite the prompt in such a way that an AI tool like yourself will be easily able to understand it and will give answers which are as accurate and useful as possible. So it's assessing itself. It's likely that your revised prompt will be a bit longer, but it should be no more than twice as long as the original. Please do not include any additional explanation, just a revised prompt. And then after the usual separator characters, here's my prompt, which is the same as it was before. I'm going for an interview. Please give me some advice on the best way to introduce myself. So when I run that, it will use a process called uh, prompt refinement and come up with a far better prompt. So it's, it's saying you're preparing for an important job interview. Provide clear, practical advice on how to confidently introduce yourself including key elements to mention, that's great. Appropriate tone and body language, that's an excellent thing to come up with. And a concise example introduction tailored for a professional interview setting. And out of interest, let's actually run this prompt. So if I paste that in and try running it, and with a bit of luck, it will come up with lots and lots of information about going for an interviews. There's so much more on our website at wiseowl.co.uk including blogs, shorter tips, tutorials on SQL and VBA, hundreds of exercises in all sorts of different software applications, and a chance to test your skills in a few selected software applications. In addition to all of that, you can watch our video tutorials like this one in all these different subjects. Or you could consider booking one of our training courses, whether it be classroom, on-site, or online, or even as one-to-one -one consultancy. Thank you for watching.